Hi students, let's have a quick understanding about what is RNA interference and let us also have a look at all the questions that have come in the previous year's board paper. Here, this is a method that is present in all eukaryotes as a cellular defense method and this is used in our case to make transgenic tobacco. Usually, tobacco plants are attacked by a parasitic roundworm called as Meloidigyne incognitia. Please get the spelling right. When they attack our tobacco plant, it reduces the yield in tobacco. In order to overcome this problem, we use this method called as RNA interference. And the whole in our whole story, our delivery vehicle or the delivery agent is agrobacterium. So why are we using that? Where are we using that? Let's have a look at. So what is RNA interference? What happens during RNA interference? What are the steps under it? All right. So using an agrobacterium vector, we are introducing nematode-specific genes into the tobacco cells. What is meant by nematode-specific genes? Certain genes that are required for this parasite to live, essential for the parasite to live, they are taken out and we are inserting it into the tobacco itself. What will be the result? The tobacco cells will start producing complementary RNA or cRNA inside the tobacco plant. Now, in the moment nematode comes and attacks our tobacco plant, what will be happening? These cDNA will bind to the mRNA of the nematode and form double strands. The moment these are formed as double strands, mRNA, which is normally a single strand, it codes for are, which is the messenger RNA becomes silenced. Therefore, it doesn't code for any of the proteins that are required for the nematode to live, resulting in the death of nematode. Now, let's have a look at all the questions that have come till now in the board paper. Please try to answer them by yourself. In case you are not able to answer, please go back to the video and watch it again. Thank you.